Disrepair have been put on hold after both caught fire on the same day on Hobson Street in High Point. This is off North Centennial Street. Yeah, the houses are right next door to one another, and this could be a case of arson. Fox 8's Tyler Harden was out there today. Tyler, I know you spoke to the new homeowner. Yeah, well, Anna Falcon didn't own the houses for more than a week before those fires started. She says she fixes up houses that are in bad shape, making them nice for people to live in. There's an estimated $70,000 worth of damage to these homes combined. High Point's fire marshal is not ruling out arson. It's, it's a shame, you know, it's a shame. My heart just sank. Fires within minutes at two houses on Hobson Street in High Point. Investigators now looking into the possibility of arson. The first call was to this house around 4 a.m. July 5th. The house is on fire. The house is on fire? Yes, it's burning now. High Point Fire Marshal Chris Weir says crews found flames shooting through the roof. Investigators found a fire was set in the back bedroom. They saw a door open at the house next door. Police went to investigate. Weir says crews found a small fire just starting in the bathroom and back bedroom there. I was going to fix this house up in maybe five weeks turnaround, and you know now it's going to take who knows how long. Anna Falcon was only a few days into renovating both houses. She took me through the one most damaged. Whatever, I'll fix it. I mean, she's not letting the chart inside <laughs> or the possibility you know? someone did it on purpose stop this her. This is not a challenge that I can't handle. She's a teacher turned house flipper. There goes. I don't want people living with mold in their house. Trading a high school classroom for this construction zone. We have a housing crisis on our hands. Uh, people don't have places to live, people don't have places to rent, you know, a lot of rents are ridiculous. We want to make our neighborhoods better and we want to make them safer and, you know, we want good places, uh, decent housing available. She's spent the past several years turning filthy spaces into beautiful places. She says the house with minor damage was vacant, boarded up and left unkept for six years before she bought it. Now it's weeks away from a new homeowner. The other house had a tenant who moved out. Now it'll be a work in progress. I have to reframe the entire thing. Trusses, joists, studs, walls, insulation, plumbing. Um, plumbing has issues now that it didn't have before because of the fire in the bathroom and such. She hopes the neighbors welcome the improvements. Change is coming whether you like it or not. It's going to be me or it's going to be someone else. And I'm actually one that cares. Now, Anna says she's ordered materials to get the damaged houses fixed. She's offering a $2,000 reward for anyone with information leading to an arrest, and fire and crews are still investigating. All right,